This is the second time I'm doing this video. First, there's a car alarm that I thought would go off, hopefully within like a few seconds, but it went on for five minutes. So I started over. The second time, I just, I can't get my words right today. So two minutes in, I decided to stop the video. And also there was a lot of train noise. You might hear some train noise in this video too because I don't live very far from like three train tracks. So I apologize ahead of time for that. But today I want to talk about a very, very special to me um, experience and purchase. I usually don't do this, but I actually made some notes about what I wanted to talk about because I feel like my videos can be all over the place sometimes. I'm like the type of person that sees a squirrel and I'm onto this and onto that and onto this and that and this. So I just wanted to kind of structure the video a little bit more. I hope this works. But um, this is just a special like once in a lifetime experience for someone who's so invested in, in this brand. Um, I've been invested in Vera Bradley um, since I was in fifth grade. And I just kind of wanted to talk about this experience because it'll probably be the only time I'm ever able to do this. So first, I wanted to talk about making a custom tote in my experience. So the custom area on the Vera Bradley website is awesome. You can go on there, they give you a selection of like five or six different bags where you can mix and match patterns and trims and colors. And now you can even add different pocket features. Um, you can make the bag into a baby bag if you want to. You can do so much on there, which I think is very, a very great way to add a personal experience um, for you and the brand. I always thought I wouldn't be able to do that because it is a little bit expensive. You can't use coupons, discount codes, birthday coupons. Um, you can't do that in the custom section, which I understand in a way. But I thought, you know, if I would be able to do that, I would have to, you know, save money or use a coupon. So since the coupon option is out, I knew I would have to save a little bit in order to make one of my Vera dreams come true. So that's what I did. And um, last Monday, so today is March 9th, my brother's birthday. Um, so last Monday, March 2nd, I, it was late at night too. It was probably like 10 or 11. I put in my order for the Vera Bradley Vera Custom Tote. On Saturday, March 7th, I received the tote. First of all, I am so, so impressed that Vera Bradley, you know, they put together this custom tote for me in under a week. And I don't live too far away from Fort Wayne, Indiana. Um, I live near Cincinnati, so I'm like, you know, very close to the border between Indiana and Ohio. So the Fort Wayne facilities are like two hours and 45 minutes away from where I live, which is awesome. So um, I don't know if that had anything to do with it, the proximity between me and Fort Wayne, um, because they do make these bags in the US at the Fort Wayne headquarters. So, um, well, I don't know if it's the headquarters, maybe it's separate from the headquarters, but it is made in Fort Wayne, Indiana in the US. So um, it came to me super quick. So that experience was great. And just the experience of putting the tote together in general was amazing. And I've used that custom section so many times to just like put my dream bags together and you can kind of save them to a queue and look at them later, you can edit them. Even if you never buy them, you can just kind of play around in the custom section. And Vera Bradley does move prints in and out. Like they'll, for example, there's a special print called Java Purple, which is a play on Java Blue. Like they have that in there. They'll throw in vintage prints like Bluebird and um, Happy Snails and things like that. But they'll also take them out almost as quickly as they put them in the custom section. So when they put Foxwood Menagerie Blue into the custom section, which is the interior pattern, or at least a play on the interior pattern of Foxwood. I realized that I had to put in an order because I did not want that pattern to go away. Foxwood Menagerie is probably one of my all time favorite patterns. Um, I definitely said in one of my videos where I had the, vel the little velvet backpack that I love so much, that Foxwood Menagerie Purple is my 
favorite interior pattern. Excuse me. And when I realized that you could make a tote with that interior pattern, I was just sold. So I, I played around with it for months and decided last Monday that I was going to put in my order. So I will go ahead and bring that email up here. I did have it up, but when, when my phone goes dark, it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't keep the email. So actually I'll just screenshot it here. So I have it. All right, cool. So I will bring the bag in and start talking about it. So like I said, I made myself notes because I started this video a couple times and I just trying to make it a little bit more organized, but you know me, it's probably going to be crazy. So, um, this is my tote in Foxwood Menagerie Blue. It is a little bit, it looks a little bit warmer in person, I would say. Um, and it might be because of the contrasting colors. I feel like when I get a little bit closer, it looks a little bit more accurate, but I would say it's like 95% accurate on camera right now. Um, so I will go ahead and talk about the pattern and all the different colors that I, I used. Um, let's see. So the trim, which you can pick whatever color you want that they have, the trim here, or the piping detail that I like to call it, is in indigo microfiber. The straps are in Foxwood Menagerie Blue Cotton, and they are the regular strap. They do offer different strap drops now. You can get different strap lengths. I think you only have two choices, this strap length and like a seven inch, which is really short. Um, so keep that in mind. I think those are new options that they added to the, cu the custom area on the site. So when you're going through that, take a look because you can add different, you can even add a detachable strap now. That's just like one shoulder strap. So there's a lot of different things that you can do in the custom area. Um, strap configuration is long. So I did get the long one. I think it's 12 inches. Um, back pocket, which I added, um, Foxwood Menagerie Blue Cotton, back pocket configuration, trolley sleeve, and Foxwood Menagerie Blue Cotton, front pocket, also Foxwood Menagerie Blue Cotton, and I added a zipper pocket with, a zipper pocket with jewelry pocket, is what they call it, um, and then the body of the bag is all in Foxwood, so, um, I didn't do anything too, you know, out of the ordinary, I kept it all one pattern on the outside. Um, because you can make this pocket like a different color or a different pattern. Um, you can do all kinds of things. You can make the trim a different color. And I actually was playing around with the trim. I almost picked mint as the color for the trim. But because I've never, you know, obviously I've never seen this bag in person because it is a custom op option. I didn't know if I would like it with that mint, so I decided to just play it safe and go with the indigo, and I'm glad I did, because it, it just blends really nicely. And it will stay clean as well. So I decided to keep it that way. And um, there are, like I said, different options that you can add to the bag for a little bit more money, and um, like b between five and $10, like I said, you can add like the extra strap. If you want it to be a baby bag, you can add a changing pad. You can add extra pockets to it. Um, so I did add a couple of those customized options. And I'm going to pull the camera back just a little bit here because it is a bigger bag. And I want to make sure I can get at least most of the bag into the frame. Okay. So we do have the two quilted handles here. And I mostly want to talk about the pattern right now because I love the pattern placement that I got in this bag. So one thing I thought was really unique, and I was, you know, obsessing over this bag last night. I was, I was looking at it, and I noticed that there is a bird. It's the, um, the blue, white, and orange version of the bird. Okay, maybe I'll move this, move this back in just a little bit here. Um, on the straps, as you can see. And this bird goes all the way up the strap. And of course, as we go around, it's going to, 
become upside down going down the back which doesn't bother me I'm just glad that I got something on the straps there and that's the same with the back I just think that's really unique placement because with foxwood the animals are spaced pretty far apart but with foxwood menagerie the animals are a lot closer and of course there's all these really vibrant and pretty flowers and leaves and things in between so you're going to get something pretty on this pattern no matter what you decide to get in the custom area um, but for me to land a bird on the straps I think was pretty lucky so as you can see the bird is going down the straps on the back as well and they are upside down on this side so there's that and I will just kind of show you the bag so you can see the pattern placement here. So I honestly love this part of the fabric right up here because you get every single one of the animals in the fabric. The rabbit is cut off at the top here, but you've got the, I don't know if that's a mouse or a hamster or, I've just been calling it a mouse hamster because I don't know what it is. But um, you've got him right there, you've got the fox, You've got the two different bird iterations here and the chipmunk. And then on this part of the fabric, you've got basically sort of the same configuration. Um, the mouse is kind of up here. You've got the fox, good placement. His ear is just a little bit covered by the Vera Bradley leather nameplate. Um, you've got the bird, the rabbit, chipmunk, and um, the same bird is over here. And you've got that pretty blue bird right there. And we've got really good placement on this side. We've got kind of the foxes in the middle there. And then we've got even better placement on this side, in my opinion. But fox, fox, chipmunk, got the bird, little mouse hamster. Super cute. And if we go to the back, I'm sorry for all the sirens. This is the great part about living in the city. It's nonstop, nonstop trains and sirens and car alarms. Okay, he turned. I hope whoever they're going to is okay, but it's always loud. I apologize. Okay. And then on my trolley sleeve pocket, I got really, I'm really happy with the placement here because I got the fox, I got the two birds, I got the rabbit, the mouse hamster, and the cute little chipmunk. And then about the same, it's about the same placement on either side here, just a little bit shifted. Um, got the good little fox right there. He's up there as well, and he's down there, so that's good placement here. He's right there. And to me, this is like all about the foxes, but I love all of the other animals on this bag so much. So I'm glad I got good placement with all of the animals. And then I know you don't really get to see the bottom that much, but there is pretty good placement on the bottom as well. So it was really hard for me to see what the color would be like. When I took this out of the box, I was shocked. The color is so much better than I could have imagined. It's very, it's got a very vintage feel to it, but at the same time, I think just the the color with the um, illustrations make it modern at the same time. I know that the sentence that just came out of my mouth made absolutely no sense. Um, it's kind of hard for me to explain um, how I see it in my perspective, but there's just something about it that's very classic and modern. Um, and I don't know, maybe it's the mint in this pattern. Maybe it's the mint and the green that make it modern for me. But it's just so... I don't know. It's, it's really hard for me to explain. It's just so... Just beautiful. It's just beautiful. And I love Foxwood Menagerie Purple. That's the interior of the Foxwood bags. But this is just... If they had the purple, I might consider getting the purple too, but this is just beautiful. I'm so, so happy with the color. So happy. And as you can see, I, I literally own only two colors of nail polish. I have silver and then this like mint color. 
and I rarely paint my nails because as soon as I paint them they're chipping off like two days later but I decided to paint my nails because it does match the color of this bag really nicely um, and it matches my painted paisley pretty well too so um, I decided to, to paint my nails um, because I was anticipating doing a review on this today um, it was kind of highly requested I you know people wanted me to, to do a review on the bag so um, and since I have work off today and um, today's my my brother's birthday he passed away um, end of October of last year so um, I thought it would be a good idea to keep my brain occupied as well so um, I'm gonna dedicate my lot my you know my two videos to him because he he's such a special I don't want to start talking about it because I really I like never cry in front of people I rarely cry in front of people so um, I just want to dedicate this video to him and you know he's such a special person in my life so I carry this picture I mean I've carried this picture in my wallet since 2000 10 maybe and so now I always keep it in the front of my wallet so happy birthday Nicholas so I'm I was just really impressed with the color of the pattern itself the background is like a nice warm navy again the trim is indigo and then the animal coloring, I think they're, the, the color of the animals are showing up really accurate, accurate on camera. It's like 99%. Very, very good. Um, and then the green, there's like these, um, I would say it's a little bit lighter than hunter green. But they're playing around with like this off-white and mint. And it's so, so decadent. It's so pretty. I love it. So now we're going to move on to the features. Because this is basically like your standard signature store Vera tote that if you walk into a signature store or went on the website, you know, you can buy a tote that has the same features. But I think what adds value to the custom area on the Vera Bradley site is that now you can add different pockets and strap lengths and other features um, that you can't get with the other Vera totes on the signature store website. So I decided, you know, I'm going all in here. I will probably not get the opportunity to make another custom bag on the Vera website because it is pricey. Um, and I probably shouldn't, should not have gotten this one. But I was selfish in the sense that I thought, you know, my birthday is at the end of the month. And it's been a really hard past four months. And um, I just I just try to look for the positives and everything. But it's sometimes it's really hard, especially I work from home. And um, I feel like when I'm not always around people every day, it, you know, I work really hard and I'm, I'm really busy with work. But sometimes when I'm alone in a quiet space, which is usually my favorite thing, um, I start to think about all the things that have happened these past months. And that just gets in my head, you know, for the better part of the day. So... I don't know why I started going off of that tangent again. I'm sorry. Anyway, like, like I was saying, I, you know, just the combination of everything that's been going on, plus them having this Foxwood Menagerie blue pattern in the custom section for a while, fearing that they were going to take it out without notice, um, and plus them adding these new pocket features. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to get the bag because I know I'm going to use this bag a lot. I'm going to use it for travel, I'm going to use it for work, I'm going to use it for every day, I'm going to use it for, you know, coffee shop dates, and I'm, I'm going to use this bag until I can't use it anymore. So I thought, you know what, I'm, I'm going to justify getting this bag. So I just went ahead and did it. I just, I went ahead and I loaded on those features. Um, the only features that I didn't get were the short strap, um, the changing pad, and um, the additional uh, strap because you can get like an additional uh, shoulder strap which I assume that means that they would have to add grommets on either side here so um, those are the only features that I didn't get so I'll go ahead and go through the features now with you so with the regular Vera tote you are going to get this front zipper pocket 
there is the pleather nameplate. And oh, the part I'm most excited to show you is that for my interior, I went with Lucky Cloud Vine. Um, so Cloud Vine, it's like a, a blue pattern. Of course, they're vacuuming in the hallway. I apologize for all the noise. I was really trying to make this a structured video, but it's gonna be crazy, like I said. Um, but let me show you a picture of what Cloud Vine looks like here. So you can get an idea between Lucky Cloud Vine and Lucky Cloud Vine is what I've got on the interior. And then um, just the regular signature store Cloud Vine. So this, this is what Cloud Vine looks like. I don't know if it's gonna, it's gonna focus, maybe not. So anyway, that's what Cloudvine looks like. It's it's a blue pattern. And this is what Lucky Cloudvine looks like. It's basically the same thing. It's just green and it's just it's so March, it's so St. Patrick's Day, it's so my birthday. It's just I thought it would go perfect with this pattern and it did. I at least I think it it matches perfect with Foxwood Menagerie and you'll see as I open, you know, when we go through the main interior. But you do have your your standard zipper pocket that goes down to the bottom of the bag here on the front. And inside, I do have my tags. Actually, I have the tag for the, the medium cosmetic that I showed in uh, my other video, my birthday haul video. But I also have the tags um, for the custom bag. And what I thought was really cool is that they... Um, here, let me take this off. I don't want to rip it or anything, but just take this off here. They included the B original tag, and they even have the name of the person that handcrafted my bag. I don't know if I should show that, um, just for privacy reasons. I don't think I'll show the name. Um, but the tag does say, your one-of-a-kind style was handcrafted with care in our hometown of Fort Wayne, Indiana by, and then it has the person's name and the Vera Bradley logo. So, just kind of... Just in case, I mean, I don't, I don't want to expose any anyone's name just in case they they wouldn't want that. So those are the tags that came with the bag, and again, there's that pocket. Oh gosh, I just love that pattern. And then the extra feature that I I paid for um is an extra zip pocket right behind the front zip. So typically on a normal Vera, this there is a pocket back here, but it's just a slip. It's an open slip pocket. So I got the um, hidden zipper pocket, and they call it a jewelry pocket. So it is suede lined, and it's very soft, and it's padded. So I assume, you know, if you, you know, if you carry jewelry with you, whether it be necklaces or bracelets or earrings, you can put those in there. I didn't really get it for a jewelry pocket. I just wanted an extra security zipper pocket, and you do have the faux leather on both of the zipper pulls here. And I just like how this kind of goes up and conceals it. And you can tuck the zipper down and you can't see it. So I love that for my phone. So I'll go ahead and show you. My phone fits perfectly in that zipper pocket and it's nice and concealed. So that's the reason why I got that. I thought that was really cool. So again, I'll kind of open that up so you can see. So this is not patterned, it's just a nice, Soft, plush, suede. Super, super soft. Very nice. So that is the front of the bag. There is no side trim on the Custom Vera. Although I think that would be a cool option for them to add, actually. Because you could, you could do all kinds of things with the side trim. You could get, you know, a solid color. You can get your, you know, interior pattern on the side trim. Because I know um, some of, not all, but some of the Vera's um, on the signature side of things do have that side trim. Um, I don't mind that this one doesn't have side trim. I don't even know that I would get it. If it, um, you know, get a different pattern for the side trim if it, they did off, offer that in the custom area. But I just think that would be a cool option for those who might want that. So if we go to the back, we've got the straps that continue down. And this was another option that Another feature that I decided to add, which is a back slip pocket. 
but it's a trolley sleeve pocket. So as you can see, there is a zipper on the bottom. We got that faux leather zipper again, and it unzips so you can use this as a trolley sleeve. I thought that option was genius. I'm not kidding you. When I say like a month or two ago, I thought, I don't know where it came from, but I was like, it would be really cool if they added a trolley sleeve on the Vera because I would love to use this, this bag as a travel bag. And it would be cool if you can slip it on top of a suitcase when you're traveling somewhere. And when I saw that in the custom area, I was like, that is perfect. So that is perfect to put on your suitcase. And if you're not using it as that, you can just zipper that and now you have an extra slip pocket. So that is another place where I can put my phone or maybe I can put it in this way. Yeah, so it's just a little more secure. That way when I'm carrying it, it's up against my body. And so before we get into the inside of the bag, I will go ahead and show you what it looks like on me, which I might need to back up my, my table again, just so I have enough room here, because it is a pretty big bag. Okay. Alrighty. So here it is on my shoulder. Very, very big, beautiful bag. Absolutely beautiful. So you get a good look at the foxes there on the side. And there's my little, my little buddy, my little fox. So cute. All well, my other little lovely little critters. Very comfortable. Like I said, I've got that slip pocket back here with my phone inside or if I want to carry my phone. So I've, like I said, I've got this front slip. My phone does fit in there standing up and it will fit sideways too. But if I want it a little bit more secure in this hidden suede zipper pocket, it fits in there perfect. So there you go. If you can get another look at that zipper there. Oh goodness, I just, I love this bag so much. Love it, love it. Okay. Now we can go into the inside of the bag and I will bring you back over here. Hang on tight. Okay, I think that's hopefully close enough. Okay, so we do, oh, I forgot a pocket. I always forget about this pocket, which is another genius idea by Vera Bradley. So there is a hidden slip pocket, so another option to put your phone. There's no zipper, no magnet, it's just an open pocket. It goes down to here. So as you can see, there is my, there's my trolley sleeve slip pocket and it goes all the way down to right here. So that's a deep slip pocket. And so as you can see, it's gonna fit my phone, no problem. So there you go, you got another great place um, to put your your phone, your wallet, your personal items, whatever you want to put there. So there is the top zipper. And we've got a couple good foxes on there. Actually, we got a lot of good birds on that. Um, right here. There's a bird. There's a fox head. There's another bird. There's another foxy. So cute. So we've got another leather zipper pull. Get ready for this. If you love the color green, look at that beautiful cloud vine pattern. Oh, it's so pretty. It's starting to blow out a little bit. It's not showing up as warm as I would like it to. It's a little warmer than what it's showing up on camera. I wonder if it's me blowing it out. Maybe I should get out of the frame. Nah, it's still kind of showing up a little bit cold. Hmm. It's, re I mean, when I say it's really green, like there are blues in the um, cloud, Lucky Cloud Vine as well. They're like really subtle, warm, rich blues as well. But oh my gosh, it's, it's a lot more warm than when it's showing up on camera. I don't know why all of a sudden it's not, not coming out how I would like it to, but we'll try again in a little bit. But for the inside of the Vera Tote, the custom Vera Tote, I did get the standard configuration, which is six slip pockets. 
So we've got um, one, two, three on one side, four, five, six on the other. They offered two other configurations that do cost a little extra. Um, they offered, I think the baby, the baby bag configuration where it's all plastic lined. I considered it for a little bit, but I, I'm not gonna, you know, if I put a water bottle in here, I'm gonna make sure it's, you know, closed pretty tight, but I don't, I don't want it plastic lined. So I decided not to do that. The other configuration was laptop compartment, which I thought was really good. And I do have my laptops right over here, my, the one that's my work laptop, and then my personal laptop, and I'm gonna show you how they fit in here. The reason why I didn't go with that configuration, um, there's that car alarm again. The reason why I didn't go for that configuration is because I knew it was, it might cut into the pocket structure of this bag and might take up like some extra space um, where I could put other stuff. So I, you know, I didn't need a laptop compartment. I thought that would, you know, it would be fine without it. So I'll kind of give you another look. It's still not showing up as, um, vibrant as I would like it to. It's just a little bit off. I would say it's like 90% accurate though. But I thought it was so pretty with this pattern. So I do have my medium cosmetic in here that I got from the outlet. And I just got all my little personal items inside, you know, as I switch from bag to bag. Then I've got my, um, I still have to do a floral nightingale video. Um, I have my um, brush and pencil case, I think is what it's called, and floral nightingale. And of course I just have all of my pens, pencils, and highlighters in there. And then in the slip pockets, um, I've got some of my sort of standard stuff. I've got my petite pouch in English Meadow, um, a little battery for my um, mouse, got my business cards and a little notebook. And then in this pocket, I just have a, like my, let me switch it around here. In this pocket, I have my mail and just important stuff that I need to get to. In this one, I've got my medium cosmetic in Symphony and Hue, which is kind of like my extra tech pouch. I just got all my extra cords and things. Gosh, finally that car alarm. That's been driving me nuts all morning. That's just been going off and on all morning for some reason. And this one, I just have my um, my oop, my heartburn medication. And this case is actually for my little computer stand. In this big middle pocket, I again let me switch it around. I have my um, personal computer mouse and charger cord in there. And then in this one, I've got my uh, travel pill case in midnight blues. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my work laptop in here to show you how it fits. So my work laptop is a Dell. It is a big one. And when I say big, it's heavy, it's, you know, it's thick. It's an older one, um, older laptop. It's 15.6 inches. And Vera Bradley advertises on their website that this fits up to a 15 inch laptop. So I'm going to show you how this fits in here, and I kind of have to move the slip pockets out of the way a little bit. Um, but it does fit. It fits pretty well, actually. And as you can see, I do have more room to spare. And actually, I'm going to put my personal laptop inside of here so you can see how it fits. Now, I would never, I probably would not carry my work laptop and my personal laptop together just because it just, it'd be way too heavy. Um, to carry around, but um, I just have a 12.2 um, inch Samsung Chromebook, and I'll show you how that fits in there. Oh, yeah, it's pretty heavy with the two of them in there, so I, I don't need to carry two of them at a time. Um, so I would go ahead and take my 15.6 inch work laptop out. And let's see, so we'll go ahead and put the pencil pouch back inside, the cosmetic, this is my little notebook I had my notes on. Um, I am filming with my iPad, but this is my 12.9 um, inch iPad case. So I'll go ahead and put that in there, and then I'm going to put my personal laptop back inside. 
just to kind of show you what that looks like. So look at all the room. Like you still have so much more room to spare. So sip it up. Now you can see what it looks like when it's more full. Okay, let me see my notes, make sure. I'm not missing anything. I think I talked about pretty much all the features. I Sometimes when I end these videos, I like, it hits me, I'm like, oh, I forgot to talk about that thing. Um, so I hope I, I kind of went over everything that I wanted to. But just the main point of this video is just how much this bag means to me and how excited I was to um, to build it on a custom site because I, like I said, I never thought I would be able to get a bag like this. Um, so I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna use it for travel. I'm gonna use it for work. I'm gonna use it for every day. Actually, I have to go to, um, I have to go get my um, car service today at the dealership. So um, that could take a little bit while, you know, take a little while depending on, you know, what they're doing and stuff. So I will most likely take this and um, take my tablet, which I'm filming with. And obviously I'll be taking my mini satchel. Love this little thing. And I can, um, I usually, you know, I have a, a Vera Tote in Floral Nightingale. And I've been throwing my Franny inside of that because it's a perfect small bag for your bigger totes. And this is a little bit bigger than the Franny, but it still fits inside really nicely. And I know my tablet, I just kind of threw this in here. But I know my tablet and my little computer will fit in there really nicely with it too. So, there it is. Actually, let me put it on my shoulder just so you can see what it looks like now that it's it's kind of bulky. Because I, I just threw the, the purse down at the bottom. But... You can kind of get an idea of what it looks like when it's really full. So, anyway, this has been my review on the Vera Bradley Vera Custom Tote in the pattern Foxwood Menagerie Blue. Again, you know, I have to give a shout out to Vera because you have offered so many great products and offered so many experiences that I think really connect the consumer to the brand and I think that's something that a lot of brands other brands can take notes on because I Sphere Bradley gives you so many great experiences and opportunities to make a unique connection to their message to their products to their story to their heritage um, it's just amazing and like I said at the beginning of this video I loved Vera Bradley since I was in fifth grade um, so you know, fast forward so many years later, I'm almost 26 and I'm still a fan of Vera Bradley products. I'm still a fan of their story, their message, um, just about everything. I'm so thankful that I got, um, you know, I saved up and I was able to um, make this custom tote before this pattern went away. So anyway, thank you so much for enduring 38 minutes of me rambling about this tote. I hope you have a great day and a great week.